picture yourself at your table with your cabin, ready to make some fun projects. And today we are going to make rainbow paper. And hopefully it's just going to be super cool and you can make as much of it as you want. And what we're going to need for rainbow paper is we need a bowl with water in it. We need some paper towels so that we have a place to put our paper, okay? We need some clear nail polish. This is going to be the trickiest thing. That might be something that you have to, to get and do this later. But we need clear nail polish. And then we need some rectangles of black paper. And you can make these bigger if you want to make bigger rainbow paper. We have some little ones here, and we're going to see how it goes. So all we're going to do is we're going to drop just a little drop of our clear nail polish into our water. And you're kind of far away, a little bit far away, so you couldn't see it, but it just went and went all over the top of the water. And I can smell it a little bit. And I'm just going to say a quick one, two, three, and give it just a minute to get all the way around the, the thing. And then now I'm going to dip my paper in the water. Oh, and it already dried a little bit. Okay, so we gotta be faster. We have to be faster than that. Wow. Okay, so that took, you can kind of see how, it, how that's like sheeny, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it in again, and this time we're not gonna count, okay? And I'm not gonna talk. Okay, you see that? Did you see how it just went all the way across the paper? Now, quickly. Ooh, rainbow. We're gonna set it on those paper towels to dry. Let's see if we can do another one. Mm, let's try to be ready to go. Okay, now the other thing that we can try, we see we have a little bit of rainbow on our paper there, and then we can dry it and we'll be able to use it. The other thing that we can try is to take our paper, this time I'm gonna take our paper, and we're gonna just go ahead and get it wet, and then I'm gonna do this on the paper. See what happens. Okay, so that one didn't work so well. So let's go back and see if we can just make one or two more this way. Wow, look at that one. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think that's your best bet. You see how we did it that time? That one to me looks the best, is if we just take the clear nail polish in one hand and the paper in the other, or you can do this with somebody and kind of do it at the same time. That one got kind of goopy because I think there was some leftover. But I wonder what would happen. Let's try. What if we put the same piece Back in. What if we do this again and put the same piece back in? So that one has little bits of rainbow stuff. I think this is something you could kind of play with and see what you get. Alright, now I still see film on there. Okay, but now see this is probably why you wouldn't want to do it you wouldn't want to use the leftover film. You just want to use that drop the first way because you kind of get that goopy yucky stuff. So we don't want to do that. We want to have it be mostly gone, get a new drop, and then we get, that one didn't turn out so good. But we have a couple that did. This one was one of our first. Look how pretty that one looks. Oh, and look how good these are looking as they dry. Look at that one. That one's like, ooh, I love it. So wouldn't it be cool to try this with bigger pieces of paper and then you can take and you can use your rainbow paper once it dries. And maybe we can take and take a look at it in just a minute when it's all dry and see how it looks. All right? 
All right, guys, so we came back to kind of take a look at our paper once it's all dried, and some of these are so pretty. Look at that. Rainbow paper. Rainbow paper. I don't know what we might do with it, but I bet we could find all kinds of fun things to do with our cool rainbow paper. Nice, huh?